Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about PlayStation 2 emulation with Play, as well as Aether SX2. And we're talking about Reset Collection, an emulation front end on Android. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PS2 emulator Play. Now, Play is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Play does not require a BIOS file, and Play just got an update. Now, just a friendly heads up here, at the time of filming, the latest version showing on the Google Play Store is version 0.49, which is not the most up-to-date version. I'm not certain if this is going to be updated soon, I hope it will, but if you want to pick up the most up-to-date version, you'll have to visit Play's website. For your reference and for also your ease of use, I'll leave a link to Play's website in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Once you are here, you can download Play for your operating system of choice. Alternatively, if you don't want to download and install Play on your device, you really don't have to. I'll leave a link to this website in the description below as well. You can just play PS2 games right in your browser if you want. Version 0.50 of Play brings the following changes. Huge compatibility improvements, for example, Dirge of Cerberus, Tekken 5, Ninja Assault, X-Men Legends, Ape Escape 2 and 3, and many more improved their status. There are now over 420 playable games reported in the compatibility tracker. Play is now sitting at about 24% overall in terms of games that are playable, and in-game is over 50%, so it is making quite a bit of progress. If you are curious about what games are compatible with Play, I'll leave a link to their compatibility tracker in the description below. On top of the compatibility improvements, they've added in a couple of cool features here to the desktop version, which I hope make their way over to the mobile version. Compatibility status of games is now visible in the cover view screen. Games can also be sorted by compatibility status. This is very handy. The second feature is a toggle to enable GS RAM reads and video settings. Disabling RAM reads can help increase performance in some games, for example, SSX3. Now this is only effective when using the Vulkan renderer. Moving on now, we're still talking about PlayStation 2 and this time focused on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2 keeps getting better and better, and there's a brand new improvement here that, at the time of filming, hasn't made it to the Google Play Store just yet, but it will be probably there eventually. If we take a closer look at these release notes, it's pretty exciting to see what's actually in them. First up here is Fix Adreno Vulcan Crashes on Newer Drivers. The second one here, this is a big one. Performance Enhancements for COP2 and VU0 up to 15% on some devices and games, 10% on Ratchet & Clank for the Snapdragon 870. Automatic hardware renderer fix, make upscaling fixes game config only. Separate GSSW thread stats, if you're monitoring your performance, this will be pretty handy to split out these two things. Uh, fix SW renderer region clamping, for example, Matrix and Ridge Racer. Improve SW scanline just-in-time performance up to 20% in some games and devices. So if you're using the software renderer, this might be incredibly important to you. And last up here, handling VU cache overflows for Killzone. Now, if you want to be on the cutting edge of things and test these changes out before they potentially make it to the Google Play Store, you absolutely can. These alpha builds are currently being tested. There's no guarantee that everything is going to work as anticipated but these APKs are free for you to test out if you want. I will leave a link to Aether SX2's website in the description below. Once you are here, click on Alpha. Now the things that I just read were from Alpha version 1404, and there's also a brand new version I'm seeing here, Alpha 1413, which I don't actually know what's in here. So this might be an upcoming teaser as to what my video is gonna be about tomorrow. But anyways, here, what I just read is version 1404. If you want to download that, by all means, be my guest. Or you can pick up 1413. I just really don't know what it's about. Last up here, we're talking about Reset Collection, which is a front end for pretty much all of your emulation needs. Reset Collection works very similar to other front ends like LaunchBox and Dig. I did a video on Reset Collection a while back now, and I will leave it in the description below. Anyways, Reset Collection just got yet another update. Now, I am a little bit late to the party on this one, but I wanted to highlight it for two very specific reasons, and we'll get to those in just a second. The latest version here is version 1.1.19, which came out March 1st. This version has a couple of bug fixes. 
The big reasons here are in version 1.1.18, which came out back on the 18th of February. First and foremost here, scope storage has been added. So if you're on Android 12 or Android 11, you'll like this update. And the second thing here, and something I am extremely surprised about, they've added in Aether SX2 PS2 emulator support. And I tested this one out. Without a word of a lie, I am extremely impressed with how Reset Collection pulled this one off. Initially, I thought they were going to take the launch box approach, where you manually add in Aether SX2 and when you go to select a game, it just boots up Aether SX2. And then you got to select the game again from Aether SX2's main menu. But no, it seems to be fully integrated here. You boot up a game in Reset Collection and it boots right into the game using Aether SX2, which is extremely impressive. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was the increased performance in Aether SX2, the increase in compatibility for play, and also the improvements for Reset Collection. Do you use Reset Collection? Have you heard about it before? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.